Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Alter Tech back again with a new video. In today's video, we have some exciting news. Mark Lavoy, the guy who created the Pixel software from that amazing camera system, he's actually partnering up with Adobe for a universal smartphone camera app. So this could be a complete game changer because it could pretty much level out the gap when it comes to the camera performance from manufacturers like nokia motorola so um with vance right now let me go ahead and bring up the article from the verge so just to give you guys a quick background this guy mark lavoy if you guys have not seen my other videos he helped create features like night sight portrait mode and hdr plus on the google pixel cameras the special thing about the google pixel cameras is that it's not really built on hardware it's built on software and many people know this because they port the Google Pixel's camera software onto other devices and they call it the G-Cam. All right, Vanch, if you will care to explain the struggles when it comes to creating a universal smartphone camera app. Okay, the issue with the Android side is that there are hundreds of phones launching every year. So usually app developers, what they do is they just make a way to get to the viewfinder and just take a screenshot of whatever is being viewed. It's not using the best software algorithm that the phone, the company is offering to that phone. So uh, this, like like you said, will make a universal camera. It does sound compelling, but I don't think yeah, it's going to it take only a few months. It could take f a few years because what they have to look at is oh, how many camera lenses does the phone have? Does it have an ultra wide does it have a 2x optical 3x optical 5x hybrid zoom or even the 10x the periscopic zoom i think a few phones offered and then it will have to adjust accordingly and then see oh what what, what are the apertures and if it's an ultra wide the, is it 117 degree field of view is it 123 like a few phones offer so it's going to be quite challenging but it, it it will take a few years for what i see but i think it's better than just for the third party apps, just go to the viewfinder and take a screenshot of what it was being displayed from the primary lens. Okay. And one thing I should add is that this guy is starting with Adobe today. So they're not wasting any time. They're getting down to business. And he has been with Google for the past six years. So for this guy with, with this amount of knowledge and with this amount of, you know, expertise in smartphone photography, for him to be, you know, just to leave and go with another company and to, you know, the possibilities is endless. Now, here's my message to smartphone manufacturers. You guys should get on this. You guys should help them expedite the process and make sure whatever they're building, you know, it, it gets put out and it gets done the right way. And they're able to create a smartphone camera app, a universal smartphone camera app that's available for the OnePlus uh, devices for the Nokia devices for the Motorola devices for all these other underdogs out there because we've seen it the pixel the iPhone and Samsung sometimes LG they are just so ahead of the competition there are some real-life situations where it the camera software just does not do a, a great of a job as the Google pixel all right I've, I've I have my own website and I've posted these photos and you can clearly see once you you know click on them and expand them the detail on the pixel compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro and the OnePlus 7T. So that's my take. So I know Vanch is not really too much of a, a camera guy but uh, do you have anything else to add to this? Uh, I would just like I, I would like I, I would agree with you I want the company to get on board with this it's it'll really unify the Android platform because right now we are all divided in the camera specs and then we have the iPhones. Every single app on the App Store works very, pretty well with every single iPhone. But then we look at the Android side, none of the phones are doing as well with the third party like Snapchat for example when we look, uh, when we look at the iOS platform. Right, right. And something that you did mention was, you know, how would this universal app, you know, cooperate with some of these newer lenses like the ultra wide like the periscope lens now what if smartphone manufacturers picked up on this and they started producing smartphones with cameras tailored for the adobe uh, app 
and maybe the Adobe app becomes the default camera app on their phones. It not only saves them millions of dollars on research and on having to upgrade their camera apps and trying to just play catch up with Google and the Apple and Samsung's. This really just levels the playing field and it's pretty much everyone's fair game. You could have a startup company tomorrow and just who could just put together a phone with some good specs and use that camera app and be like, you know what, I, I don't have to, you know, spend 10 years trying, you know, spending money and time on research just to catch up to the pixel, which you never might not ever catch up. So this is a complete game changer. And for someone like me who loves taking photos, you know, I'm excited about it. Um, I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but the, everyone, everyone who's, who's listening to me right now, you know, OnePlus, Nokia, Motorola, you guys have to like find a way to get on this and invest in it and make sure, you know, this gets done the right way. All right, everyone, uh, this is Alter Tech and Vanch. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button and please subscribe for some more videos. If you have any questions or comments, please hit us down below in the comment section. These are the OnePlus guys signing out. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Peace.